My name is Michelle Ferguson and I am the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet the Celtic Weave Crochet Stitch. This is one of my favorite stitches and I have several patterns that include this Celtic Weave Crochet Stitch combo, including my newest one pictured right here, the Celtic Weave Ear Warmer. For this tutorial I'm going to be using we crochets Mighty Stitch Worsted Weight Yarn in the colorway Mint and an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a Streamline Wood Hook from Furls Crochet. All right, let's get started. Okay, to start this Celtic Weave Stitch, we are going to need to chain in a multiple of four plus two. So I am going to do a chain of 22 to start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. All right, I have chained twenty two stitches or chains. Now I am going to do a foundation row of double crochets. So I am going to work a double crochet in the third chain from my hook and in one in each, one double crochet in each chain across to start my row one, which is a foundation row, so we can do our front and back posts. So go ahead and work one double crochet in each stitch each chain across and I will meet you at the end of this row. Alright, I have double crocheted all the way across my chains for a total of 20 double crochet. Now we're ready to start the Celtic stitch, stitch combo. Um, I like to do a set of double crochets on each end of my um, Celtic weave. I just think it looks nicer for the edging. So for this ear warmer, I've done two double crochet on each end, and then I have my Celtic weave in between. So I'm going to do it that way for this as well, for this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my long chain, which is just pulling up a loop about the length of a double crochet and chaining one, and then I'm going to turn and work one double crochet in the first stitch and one double crochet in the next. Now we're ready to start our front post triple crochet stitches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip the, the next two stitches and we're going to work a front post triple crochet stitch around this double crochet, this next, this third double crochet. We skip two, then we're gonna work into the next one. So we're gonna yarn over twice. We're gonna insert our hook behind that entire stitch, that entire double crochet stitch. We're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. We have four loops on the hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through two of those loops. And now I have three loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through two more. And I have two loops on my hook. And I'm gonna yarn over and pull through those last two. That is a front post triple crochet. Now we're gonna do it around the next one. Yarn over twice, insert hook behind the whole stitch, pull up, yarn over and pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two of those loops, three loops on your hook left, yarn over, pull through two more, now you have two loops left, yarn over and pull through the last two. So we've done two front post triple crochet stitches. Now we need to work one front post triple crochet in each of the two that we skipped. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over twice. We are going to work over the stitches we just did and insert the hook behind that du first double crochet that we skipped. We're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop. We have four loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we've completed one and see how it starts to cross. We're gonna do this second one that we skipped. So we're gonna yarn over twice, work behind, insert the hook behind the stitch, 
yarn over, pull through, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we've completed our first set of front post triple crochet stitches. So it's worked in four. So you skip two and then you work in the two that you skipped. So we're going to do that again. We're going to skip two stitches. We're going to work in the next one. One front post triple crochet. Yarn over twice. Insert hook behind the stitch. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to do it on the next one. Yarn over twice, insert hook behind the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, now we need to do the two that we skipped. So we're going to yarn over twice. Go behind the stitch, yarn over, pull up that loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, and now we gotta do this last one that we skipped. So yarn over twice, insert behind the stitch. There we go. Yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, we have completed our second set. We're going to repeat all the way across until we get to the last two stitches, which will be double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, skip two, skip two, double crochet, yarn over, insert hook into that next, around that next or behind that next one, actually. <laughs> yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There we go. And it does get a little tricky. Sometimes you have to maneuver your yarn a little bit. Um, but once you get going, it becomes easier. So I've done two. Now I am going to do the two that I skipped. So yarn over twice, insert behind the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over twice, we're working to the next one that we skipped. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, we've got one more set to complete. Skip two, work into the next one, front post, triple crochet. So we do two here, and then we are gonna do the two that we skipped. So yarn over twice, go back to that one, first one we skipped, and complete one triple front post triple crochet, and then into the next one that we skipped. There we go. And now we have the two stitches left, so we're just going to do one double crochet in each of those stitches. And that is what it looks like. So now we are going to turn it and we're going to be working back post triple crochet. So this is going to be our front side, your row two, your even rows are going to be your front side. And then this is going to be your this will be your right side, as it's called in patterns, and this will be your wrong side or your back side, um, however you call it. So I'm going to do a long chain and turn. I'm going to work one double crochet in the first two. So now we are going to be working into those very first two uh, triple crochet stitches. We are going to be doing back posts triple crochets. So what we do is you're going to yarn over twice just like the front post. You're going to insert your hook from behind in front of that stitch. So it looks like this. You're going in front of the entire stitch. You're going to yarn over. You're going to pull up a loop back through the back and you're going to have four loops on your hook. And then you're going to work it the exact same way as your front post. So you're going to yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're gonna do the next one, which is this second one right here that's on in front of the other two. So you might have to maneuver your yarn a little bit, your stitches, so you can get in there. Yarn over twice. I'm inserting from the back in front of the stitch. When it's facing me, it's in front of, the hook is in front of the stitch. I'm yarning over, I'm pulling through and pulling up that loop. Four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's what it looks like. Now we are going to skip two and work in the next two like we did before. So we're gonna be doing two back post triple crochets around these two. So yarn over twice, insert hook. It's a little easier on that first one because you got a nice gap right here. Insert hook in front of the stitch, yarn over, pull up that loop back through the back, you got four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, we're gonna do another one. Yarn over twice, insert hook from behind in front of the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you've done four back post triple crochets. Now we gotta work into these two that we have skipped. So, we're gonna yarn over twice. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go from behind in front of the post. So this is what it looks like on the right side. It's behind the stitch, your hook. But when you're, it's facing you, it's in front of the stitch. You're gonna yarn over and grab your yarn and pull it through. So this is what it looks like. You can maneuver it to the other side if you need to see it. This is what it looks like from the side you're working. You're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, like so. All right, and we gotta do this next one. Yarn over twice, whoops, yarn over twice, insert hook in front of, pull up a loop. Nope, I didn't grab that yarn over. All right, let's maneuver it. <laughs> yarn over, there we go. Pull up that loop. You got four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Let me make sure I got that right. Yep, it's weaving now. This is the right side. So we're going to skip two again and work two in the next. So. Back, yarn over twice, insert your hook. See how much easier that is where that gap is on that first one? Yarn over, pull up your loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Let's do that again. Yarn over, insert hook. So if it's easier for you to turn your, your work facing the right side and put it behind the stitch, Go for it. It is a little easier to see that there. All right, now we gotta do the two that we skipped. So we're gonna yarn over twice, insert behind or in front of, whichever way you're facing. If you're facing this way, it's in front of. You're gonna pull, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. It gets a little tight right there. Um, but just move your yarn however feels best for you to get that yarn over there and work your back post triple crochet. All right, so now we're going to skip two more, work the next two. Whoop, and one more. All right, now we're working in the two we skipped. Two back posts, triple crochet.
All right, so we've done two. We have two left right here. We're just gonna do two back post triple crochets into those two. No more skipping. So, one back post, triple, and another. All right, and then we've got our two stitches at the end that we're gonna work one double crochet in each. All right, this is what it will look like from the right side. You have started weaving here, and as you can see, it goes upward. That's gonna can all connect as we continue our repeat. So now we're doing a repeat of rows two and three. So I am going to long chain and turn my work. I'm gonna work one double crochet in each of the first two stitches. And now I am going to repeat row two, the um, skip two, work two, and then work in the two that I skipped. Front post, triple crochet this time. So I've yarned over twice, I'm skipping the two, first two, and I'm working around that next triple crochet. There's one and two. All right, now we're gonna work around the two that we skipped. One front post, triple crochet in each, around each. So the first one, front post, triple crochet, and then I'm gonna work around the next one, a front post, triple crochet. There we go. Now I'm gonna skip two more and work in the next two, which are these two right here on top. So front post, triple crochet here, and here. Okay, now we're gonna work the next, the two that we skipped. One front post, triple crochet around each. And you can see I'm maneuvering my yarn and my swatch a little bit so that I can see that really good and get in there and work that stitch. And it's very, very like drapey or stretchy, flimsy, however you wanna call it. So it's very easy to maneuver. All right, skip two, work into the next two. One front post, triple. Another front post triple and work two into the skipped, which are these two right here. So it's skip two, work in the next two, and then skip, I mean, work into the two that you skipped or around the two. I keep saying into, it's more like around. And that's what creates the weaving. So we're going to skip these two. Working through these last two post stitches or triple crochets. And then work into these last two that we skipped. Okay, and then we have our two at the end, and I'm gonna do one double crochet in each. All right, that is row four, and that's what it's like. As you can see, it's really starting to show that weave um, now that we've got it going. And I'm gonna do one more row of the back post, and then I'm gonna show you how I like to fast finish it off and give it a nice clean edge. Um, all right, so long chain turn, one double crochet in the first two. All right, we're gonna work our back posts in the first two triple crochet stitches or around the first two. So I'm working from behind into the front of the stitch and pulling up a loop, four loops on my hook. Doing the same to the next one. 
pull it up with that triple crochet. Now I'm going to skip two and work in the next two, around the next two. So I'm getting my hook. It's a little easier to see over here on this side when there's so many stitches. All right, got my two. Now I gotta uh, work in the two that I skipped. So, putting my, yarn, my hook behind if I'm facing the right side and grabbing that yarn and pulling it back behind and through. And then completing my triple crochet. And then same thing here. Pulling up my loop and then completing the triple crochet. There we go. All right, here's what we've got. Um, and so now I'm gonna show you how I like to finish off a Celtic weave. You can see I've done it here. Um, both ends are done with a um, row of double crochet in each stitch. And then for this, I finished with single crochet. But you can do it however you want. You can use single crochet. Um, or double crochet. I like it because it matches the bottom also um, with the row of double crochet. So I'm going to do a long chain and turn and I'm just going to work one double crochet in each stitch. All right, so there is our Celtic weave. We've um, done it and then we've done the double crochet. It just looks really nice and clean. As I said, you can do it as much as you want for as long as you want. This one's longer, thinner. I have a scarf pattern that's just like this, um, as well as a hat and a kitchen set and a top, a women's crochet top with the Celtic weave stitch. So if you love this stitch, go check those out. I'll link them all in the description. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Have a great day.